Hey folks, Ray from DCGrammarker.com here. Take your first look at the just released augmented reality of Ruby. Uh, now Ruby is a training app, and this past summer at Eurobike, they went ahead and they announced their augmented reality functionality, uh, and it was expected to come out later on this year. Now it's later this year. Uh, now you may be asking, what the heck is augmented reality? And it has nothing at all to do with virtual reality. Two totally different things. Just like virtual reality has nothing to do with reality TV. It's, it's totally different stuff. Kardashians does not equal uh, computer-generated stuff, though both can be equally unexciting. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to walk through what augmented reality looks like in the case of Ruby. I'm just going to do it from start to finish. We're going to jump right on the bike and get right into it. Uh, it's definitely cool stuff, and I'm not going to talk about the rest of the Ruby suite. There's other stuff that they do, like typical video in-rides and all that kind of stuff. We're just going to get right into it. That way I can get to lunch. Uh, so I've got the app here loaded on my iPad. They've got apps available now released with augmented reality for iPad, uh, iPhone, Android, PC. Mac is coming next trainer season, so like a year from now. But I think between those app devices, you'll probably be covered, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to go ahead and just put this up here right now, and we'll jump on the bike. Uh, now, in this case, I've already paired up the sensors to uh, the Tax Neo 2 that's down there right now, so you can use any smart trainer you want. Uh, you will need a subscription to Ruby, either a trial subscription, or you can just uh, have a paid subscription as well. So once you're in the app in the upper left-hand corner, you tap that little uh, menu thing and go to Augmented routes, routes right there. And I can go into and choose which route I want. There's about a dozen routes right now that are loaded in here of the roughly 2,000 or so routes that they have in the platform. Uh, and the reason why they've limited to roughly this dozen is to simply kind of consolidate the feedback on the whole overall experience into these dozen as opposed to trying to like troubleshoot stuff across 2,000 routes. Uh, but once they've locked this all down, they feel they're really confident with it. They'll just pretty much enable it for everything. Uh, so it's kind of cool. So you, as you click on a route here, you can see uh, the name of the route down at the bottom there, the elevation, all that kind of stuff is right there. Uh, so pretty straightforward, kind of like most other uh, online routes. So if we just kind of go through these, I want to pick one. I'm going to go with this one right here. So it's got uh, 2,300 feet of elevation gain in six miles with a 7% average grade and a max of 19%. I'm going to click on next right there. And this comes to the screen where I can validate my sensor. So the tax is too smart. Um, I can choose to stream it or download it. In this case, I've already downloaded the video. It only took just a minute or so to download uh, that 425 megs. That way I don't get any jittering during the actual activity itself. I can select a virtual partner. In the case of iOS, I can select a single partner, uh, same with Android, whereas for uh, the PC, you can go ahead and you can select up to three partners on there. Uh, so I'm just gonna choose this uh, hip zicky dude right there. And then uh, down below, I've got augmented routes already enabled. And then there's an option between race and training. It's pretty much like what you would expect. In the case of race, you start like a race and you go to the finish. There's no stopping. There's no like coming back later sort of thing. Versus training, you can go and you can pause it. Uh, you can skip around the course. You can do whatever you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Choose training right there. It's gonna validate things. And then once it's ready to roll, it'll allow me to go ahead and start pedaling. Uh, so there we go, pulling it up, loading, start training, or just simply start pedaling. I'm just gonna simply start pedaling. So with that, I'll go ahead and I'll just use the sensors from this. There we go. Okay, and so you can see that uh, the hip zicky dude right there, I am DC Rainmaker off to the right right there. So that's me. I just uh, I just left him in the dust. Um, so that's what's important here. Uh, but there are also these ghost riders as well that you'll see out there. Okay, now he's catching back up again. And what's cool here is this is a real course route outside, right? So this is actually outside. You can see one of the Ruby ghosts up ahead there. And they're overlaying these avatars on the road itself. And in this particular course, it looks really darn good. Um, you may have just seen that sign pop up right there. So that is one of the uh, incline markers. They are augmenting that, that augmented reality right there. That's putting it on the course itself. Um, so you see those popping up. For me, it's a bit, a bit much to pop those up so frequently um, and be that like over, overachieving about it. Just, just show me the, the grade, catch up with this guy here. So you can see what's, what's impressive about this is as we go around corners and stuff, the guy in front of me there, we're changing the camera angle slightly to compensate for that. So it's not just like totally static. Catching up to him. Making a pass. There's one of the Ruby Ghost Riders. Going all around them. And I've got to admit right now, this looks really damn incredible. Like this is probably one of the best examples out of all the courses they have. It looks really, really good. Got the graphics on high quality right now. 
This is just a simple iPad, the cheapest 2018 one there was. I bought it two weeks ago. So here is an overlay of finished banner or a split banner. So that is actually done live right there. It doesn't exist in real life. They did it over the top there. They can also do, okay. You can also go ahead and do uh, barricades and stuff. There's some courses that have that. It looks really, really good. Of course, there are nuances to this. So sometimes these signs pop up in the middle of nowhere, like in the middle of a driveway or something. Not quite right. Like right here, you wouldn't put a sign in the middle of the parking lot. But overall, it's pretty impressive. I can change a few settings. So if we go up here in the corner, we'll catch my breath and change some settings. So I can change, for example, the graphic quality. It's on high. Camera distance, I can get rid of my own avatar and just go straight to the uh, what I'm viewing. I can go far. I can change the reality level, the video smoothing, all that stuff's tweakable in here. Or I could just get off the bike just like that, just like my avatar. So in this case, I'm gonna replicate what my avatar is doing and wrap things up. So overall, that's pretty cool stuff. Uh, is it like the best thing ever? No, but it's also really impressive. Like when the graphics show up right on the right courses, it's just amazing. Um, I think there's there's lots of potential for this. This is ultimately taking you know that blend of like the outdoor uh, rides that you've seen in the past, uh, the real course rides, that kind of stuff, with what you see in Zwift. And they've got racing on here as well, so you can do races with up to 100 people at a time uh, on a single course at a single time. That's that's really really cool. Um, I don't know if this, as it is today, is the future of all, you know, indoor training and racing, but there's something for everyone. Like there doesn't have to be, you don't all have to like Zwift or Train Road or uh, Kino Map. You can pick what you like and like it. And so some people want different experiences and this is pretty cool. Um, I would love to see this get a little more realistic in terms of like the signs and stuff like that, uh, not be popping up in the middle of roadways. Um, I'd love to be able to change the camera angle a little bit. So right now it's only front facing. Uh, and of course that's because they only filmed it front facing. So you can't change the camera to look you know, back at me because they didn't film it that way. They would have had it done some sort of uh, 360 degree camera and that takes more bandwidth and all that kind of stuff. The video quality of this particular video on the iPad looks pretty good. But when I put it up on the TV screen, you start to notice it's not quite as clean there. Um, the company says they're looking at doing 4K video downloads sometime next year. Uh, so that'd be awesome to see that. They just noted they wanted to get this stuff kind of locked first and then they can go ahead and pop up uh, into 4K. They noted that most of these videos are actually shot in 4K to begin with. So that's kind of an easy thing for them to toggle that down the road. Still, this is pretty cool stuff. And what's cool about Ruby in general is that it's not just one type of functionality. So it's not just, you know, virtual racing or not just, um, you know, erg style stuff. They've got all that stuff in there. So I generally find that Ruby along with like the tax uh, desktop suite is sort of like the best all around um, options if you aren't set on one type of trainer app. Uh, but there's lots of choices out there. Definitely use those free trial codes that you see around and uh, figure out what you like best. Anyways, if you found this interesting, go ahead and mark that like button at the bottom there. It definitely helps the channel out as well as the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Have a good one.